channel. My name is Amusha Lydia Bissala. If this is your first time watching, thank you for coming. And if you've been watching, thank you for coming back. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about how do you deal with failure. Now, if you've written an exam before and you failed woefully, or you've applied for a job and you never called and you never got called back for an interview, or you started a project and everything just like crumbled like it didn't just work out it just failed it just flopped <laughs> you would understand what it means to actually fail you know but yeah we're going to talk about how do you handle this kind of failures like when they happen in life do you just sit back and let time pass or how do you deal with it so let's go first thing is allow yourself to react now failure is something that is really deep and when you feel most times you feel pain like especially when you've put in so much effort or resources like this is failure you're not supposed to just smile about it and be excited you know yeah when you fail you must allow yourself react if you have to cry cry if it is listening to music if worshiping is the way you can let out the pain i mean it's failure you're not just supposed to let it pass so react cry but the most important thing is do not dwell in that arena for too long now it's important to know that even if you're reacting you're not just supposed to be there for long and just like sulk and all oh, no but then you allow yourself let that moment pass like by letting it all out now the second thing is reflect on what you did wrong for instance you failed and then you go through the process okay if it's an exam you go back to okay what did i not do right how should i have done it better okay if i would answered the question this way maybe it would have earned me more mark and then you learn from people who have probably gone through that process and you know it'll be easier that way to actually reflect on what you didn't do now this is not the point where you start sulking or regretting that oh what if i've done this blah 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 no it's not the point of regret it shows the point to get yourself back to doing it better so you need to know, okay, what I didn't do right or what you should have done right and then how you can do it better. Now, the last thing is trying it again. Now, this is the most difficult step for us to take, but then it's a necessity because it actually helps us to know that, okay, we are getting better. Now, you don't do badly at what you repeatedly do. For instance, you keep on doing something every day. In 30 days, you realize that you're doing it better than you started. So even if you started out and then you flopped or you failed, it doesn't mean that if you continuously do it, you will fail at it. So it's important for you to know that doing it again or trying it again is not So if you failed an exam, try it again. If you failed, if you didn't get called back for an interview, maybe you applied for a job try it see what you didn't do right look at your cv go through it okay how should i have put it better you know stuff like that make your do your research very well and then cheers to doing it better i, I hope that you've been able to learn a thing or two and when we fail we don't just sit in our place of regret and just let time pass no but we get up even after we have reacted and gather strength and do it Again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys.